In the wake of the uh, massacre of Israeli civilians and the retaliation by the Israeli military on the people of Gaza, what's the Biden administration doing? What's going on? Um, how is Joe Biden leading uh, the US foreign policy in all this? Um, here's what he had to say in the wake of the attack. Take a look. Let there be no mistake, the United States stands with the state of Israel. Just as we have from the moment the United States became the first nation to recognize Israel 11 minutes after its founding 75 years ago. Thank you very much. Right, so reaffirming the long standing support of Israel um, and since he said 11 minutes since its founding, um, which arguably is part of an ongoing legacy of occupation. The fact that Israel continues to grow its borders every single year um, as it takes more and more land from Palestinians. But anyway, as expected, uh, President Joe Biden standing firmly um, and sending more military aid to uh, the, the military of Israel. So specifically, and General Lloyd Austin announced they're sending the USS Gerald R. Ford, which is the Navy's newest, most advanced aircraft carrier. It's got approximately 5,000 sailors, a deck of warplanes, got cruisers, and it's a show of force meant to be ready to respond to anything from possibly interdicting additional weapons from reaching Hamas and conducting surveillance. Um, remember, uh, the Iron Dome is an anti-missile defense system within uh, Israel that actually has thwarted some missiles that have been sent from Hamas fighters in Gaza. So that's something the United States has also um, given money to. Um, there's a lot of geopolitics to this, Senator. One of the yeah. pieces of this is that Hamas claims uh, that they've had support from Iran in this attack. We do know historically that Iran has supported Hamas, but this was a statement that Reuters uh, from Iran that, uh, uh, that they gave to Reuters, excuse me. They said, we emphatically stand in unflinching support of Palestine. However, we're not involved in Palestine's response as it's taken solely by Palestine itself. They said that on Sunday. Um, but because of the Iran connection here, we all know that even though Joe Biden is sending more weapons to the region and he's sending this, this fighter aircraft to the region, um, that he is being hit because recently he decided to unfreeze $6 billion of Iranian assets in exchange for a prisoner swap. Uh, we're talking uh, five, I believe, uh, American prisoners for five Iranian prisoners and $6 billion in Iranian assets unfrozen, but specifically stipulated to only be for it was there's a lot of conditions on that aid. Anyway, of course, the right is freaking out and blaming blaming Joe Biden somehow for Hamas's attack on the Israeli citizens. Um, Steve Scalise uh, tweeted the Biden administration must be held accountable for its appeasement of these Hamas terrorists, including the handing over billions of dollars to them and their Iranian backers. Nina. You knew there was gonna be some way to like, you know, reverse engineer that the Joe Biden crime family somehow did this. But maybe, maybe weigh in. I mean, I have thoughts around the Iran stuff, but any any initial reactions to 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 Biden's role in all this? I mean, nothing of this magnitude. First of all, the Republicans, they don't have a real argument here and they just making things up as if what is happening right now in the Middle East is not big enough to continue to, to bring more drama to this on the American side. It makes no sense. These two things are not correlated whatsoever and they know it. Francesca, and because they don't have better ideas, they don't have the idea to go deeper on this. They don't have an idea about what exactly, you know, how to deal with this moment and how to work toward exacting a lasting peace. That is the only thing. That's the first, second, third, fourth, and fifth concern because we're going to mm -hmm. find ourselves right back in this place time and time again, unless. That is ultimately the goal. So the Republicans are do nothing. They just making up stuff as they go along. And they really have no intention on being good partners, if you will. And I put good in air quotes in trying to de-escalate this thing and work towards that lasting peace. So it's nonsense, best franchise. That was a long way for me to say no, it's nonsense. It For more political news breakdowns, interviews, stories of activism, and me trying my hardest to care about the occasional big celebrity news story, subscribe to our YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the damage report. And you can ring the bell wherever it is so you don't miss anything.